Hey everyone, Kim Chika here. Welcome to the channel. It is almost June, so it's about time to take a look at the indie titles that are coming along next month. These are the titles I'm most excited to play when they release in June, ranging from relaxing, meditative, explorative games to, I don't know what to even call it, a psychedelic avoid -em up there are also a few titles released at the end of May that I didn't get a chance to put in a video, so I'm showing them off right now in this intro because I think you should check these out too. So be sure to look at the links in the description box below for all of the games if there are any that strike your fancy. And without further ado, let's just jump into the June Indie Watch. Heimrich. Funny but brutal. If you don't mind over-the-top cartoony violence, this is a title you'll want to check out. Heimrich takes a fun idea, utilizing words to manipulate gameplay, and it pushes it even further. The words you utilize will physically provide you with supplies, helpful items, and even tricks to get out of the horrible situations you seem to keep falling into. Heimrich is a scribe just trying to eke out a living in his sepia-toned medieval village, but a magical book has fallen into his hands, and with it, a whole lot of trouble. Meet this eclectic cast of characters, which includes a lioness who sees you as a portable and refillable snack box, on June 6th on Windows PC. Shape of the World in this meditative first-person game, which, fun fact, was strongly inspired by Journey, another indie game you shouldn't miss, your only goal is to explore. The world around you will react to your presence, so take your time to enjoy the sights and sounds of the flora, creatures, peaks, and valleys. Since the world is procedurally generated and constantly shifting, you're also encouraged to retrace your steps and revisit areas. They may have changed as well. Get ready for your relaxing journey to start on June 5th on Windows PC and PS4, and June 6th on Switch and Xbox One. Puss! There is no forgetting this game once you've seen its distinctive psychedelic style, and once you play it, there's no turning back. Puss is one of those games that has an incredibly simple premise and controls. Just move your mouse and get to the end of the maze. Easy, right? Uh, not quite. This self-described avoid -em up combines bullet hell mechanics with the maze premise, so you've got to make sure to avoid, well, basically everything. And the levels appear in a random sequence, but the challenge is all worth it. Because your cat is trapped in an alternate dimension, you're the only one who can help it escape. Get ready for all the colors and flashing lights on June 6th. Puss is coming to Windows PC. Dayland. Looking at Dayland, I couldn't help but compare the small and surprisingly detailed planets to the setting of the classic novel, The Little Prince. Dayland is the name of the planet you inhabit and can develop however you please. Combining RPG and sandbox mechanics, Dayland isn't solely an open-ending farming sim. You must also work to save the other minor planets from the threat of the shadows that are working to rob the magic of the planet's crystals. Crafting, farming, combat, and survival mechanics all meld together to create this adorable title. Dayland is coming to Windows PC and PS4 on June 14th. Epic Loon. It's time to reminisce and revisit the era of the 80s and 90s VHS and cinema. You, and up to three friends if you want to play the local co-op mode, play a group of aliens who are on a mission to take over Joe's TV after being rudely awakened. Work together to invade over 350 levels of Joe's movie collection, dodge his remote control attacks, and destroy it all. Once you're done with the story, play against your friends in battle mode. Get ready to relive classic scenes of some of your favorite movies of the 80s and 90s, like Jurassic Park, Nosferatu, and Alien on June 28th. It's coming to PC, PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. I fart in your general direction! Hasta la vista, baby! You wanna play it soft? We'll play it soft. You wanna play it hard? Let's play it hard! Mechanism. The Steam cyberpunk world of Mechanism is still filled with mystery. There isn't a ton of information on the lore or story other than a strange disease called Phlegma has infiltrated the world and the robots that inhabit it. 
or robot. We actually have only seen just one. Use stealth and solve puzzles to explore the beautiful environment and find out what's happening to it and see if you can figure out what these numbers mean. Mechanism releases on June 28th on Windows PC, but there is a playable demo on Alexander's itch.io page. Again, link in the description box below. So that's it for the June Indie Watch. If there are any indies that I've missed and that you'd like to share, please put them in the comments below. I've discovered so many indie games because of what you guys put in the comments, so thank you for that. Be sure to follow my Twitter at kimchika25 for even more indie game highlights and news, and I post there about my live streams, but you could also just go directly to twitch.tv slash kimchika, where I stream most Monday through Fridays at 1.30 p.m. Pacific time, with a little caveat that my work takes precedence, so if my work schedule impedes it, sometimes that doesn't happen. But be sure to follow me there, and you'll get notifications when I do go live. And I play lots of indie games and lots of RPGs. And finally, if you enjoyed this video, if you like what I do with trying to promote indie games through developer interviews, curated lists, reviews, all of that fun stuff, be sure to click that subscribe button. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.